NASA's Atlas Survey, the Mysterious Interstellar Visitor NASA's Atlas Survey will begin on July 1, 2025, when it flagged a new interstellar visitor streaking toward our solar system at more than 130,000 miles per hour. Within a few hours, analysts noticed something terrifying. Three, the first Atlas deviated from every known comet's game plan. Not only were its velocity and trajectory out of sync with regular comet models, but even MIT's most experienced scientists began raising red flags, warning that, based on the evidence, this object cannot be a comet at all. If that's true, what exactly have we encountered entering our universe's backyard? And why does no one seem able to describe its movement, the first detection? The first sign that something unusual had entered our solar system came not from a single observatory, but from a network of telescopes working in concert. Just after midnight, universal coordinated time, the Atlas Survey's automated system triggered an alert for a fast-moving, faint object in the constellation Pegasus. Atlas had done its job, it caught a point of light shifting position faster than any known comet or asteroid in recent records. Within minutes, the data was relayed to the Cambridge Minor Planet Center in Massachusetts. By sunrise, a formal circular had been issued by the Union Internationale de l'Astronomie, marking the world's receipt of the discovery, complete with a brand new designation, 3I Atlas 3I meaning the third interstellar object ever detected. A discovery unlike any other, don't forget to subscribe if you're fascinated by these unsolved cosmic mysteries, there's much more more to uncover. 3. The first atlas marked only the third confirmed interstellar encounter in history, a visitor from beyond the boundaries of our solar system. But it wasn't just the discovery that made it remarkable. It was the speed, over 130,000 miles per hour, the fastest inbound traveler ever recorded. What followed was a chain reaction. Survey astronomers from Hawaii to Chile scrambled to confirm the find. Data poured in, and something became clear. This object was not following the rules. Its path through the solar system was hyperbolic, meaning it wasn't bound to the sun at all. It would swing through once, then vanish back into interstellar darkness. Initial calculations indicated it would miss Earth by a wide margin, but that did little to calm nerves. The anomalies multiplied. In the hours that followed, astronomers noticed more strange things. The object's illumination didn't match standard models for a comet at its distance from the Sun. Spectral readings, the chemical fingerprint of an object, showed comet-like material but with odd gaps and unexpected ratios. Normally, the process is simple. Find an object, plot its orbit, classify it, and move on. But this time, the numbers refused to settle down. The need to act was real. Within 12 hours of the first alert, NASA, the European Space Agency, and several major universities began coordinating emergency follow-up observations. Seasoned astronomers, some who had waited their entire careers for a moment like this, found themselves swept into a global scramble. The last time anything similar occurred was in 2017 with Oumuamua. But even then, the discovery hadn't progressed this quickly. The rarity was obvious, a celestial lottery ticket had just landed in the inboxes of the world's leading planetary scientists. By the end of the day, the question wasn't just what is it, but how is this even possible? The residual mystery, detection, confirmation, and instant debate sparked a wave of both anticipation and anxiety. It was, for many, the most alarming astronomical discovery in years, not because it threatened Earth, but because it threatened what we thought we knew about the boundaries of the solar system. Scientists everywhere were left asking, greater than if 3i Atlas doesn't play by the rules, what else is out there, waiting to be discovered? Normally, orbit calculations for objects in other galaxies are straightforward, or at least, they should be. Input the positions, run the models, and the path should line up within a small error margin. But for 3i Atlas, those margins grew uncomfortably wide. Early fit graphs plotted by analysts at the Minor Planet Center showed residuals, the differences between observed and predicted positions that simply refused to settle. 
Typically, these fall within error bars once additional data is collected, but not this time. The scatter stayed stubbornly high. In practical terms, that meant 3i Atlas wasn't where it was supposed to be. The numbers didn't just drift, they bounced, sometimes exceeding what even the best orbital models could explain. On a residual chart, the data points should have clustered tightly along a neat line. Instead, they wandered as if something unseen were nudging the object off course. For orbital dynamicists, that's a red flag. It suggests that either the models are missing a key factor or the object itself is behaving in a way that defies physical expectations, the unseen force. Every observation carries uncertainty, atmospheric distortion, instrument calibration errors, even the observatory's own motion. But when those potential sources of error are all accounted for and the deviations still don't shrink, harder questions arise. Is there a force missing from our equations? Is the object venting gas in unpredictable jets, or is something else entirely at work? Even the data teams at NASA and JPL, accustomed to messy numbers, began to notice how persistent the anomalies were. In private discussions, analysts compared these charts to the early data on Aumuamua, another mysterious visitor, but the similarities only deepened the unease. 